Joseph Ayo Babalola was born in a strange way. He did some strange miracles on some strange date and left the stage of life after 30 years of serving the Lord as an apostle sent to liberate Africa from satanic imprisonment and oppression. He came with the gospel of Christ, preached the word of God by the power of the Holy Spirit in an unusual way and left the legacy of effective prayer life to unborn generations. It could be said without mincing words that prayer was the primary business of his life. 62 years after his departure to the great beyond, his fame is still spreading like wildfire. Apostle Joseph Ayo Babalola can be categorized in the rank of Apostle Peter and Paul in the New Testament and Prophet Elijah and Samuel in the Old Testament. There is no miracle that the Apostle in the Bible did that Ayo Babalola did not perform. In fact, he raised more dead people back to life than any apostle in the scripture. His apostolic mandate also produced apostolic results in the lives and ministries of his disciples. It is on record that one of Babalola's disciples in person of prophet Daniel Orekoya raised 22 dead people back to life within three months in 1930. This spot was where Babalola was praying on the mountain and a big python crawled upon his leg. And when he opened his eyes and saw the python, the Lord told him to close his eyes and continue with his prayer. By the time Ayo Babalola was done with his prayer, the python had dried up and laying lifeless beside him. Ayo Babalola was power personified. He walked in a dimension of the Holy Spirit that produced unusual results. Had it been there are no authentic records of those miracles. One could be accused of exaggerations while writing about the miracles that happened in Ayo Babalola's ministry. Five mysterious things that happened at the birth of Joseph Ayo Babalola. One. An angel foretold his birth. According to E.H.L. Olusheye, the former president of Christ Apostolic Church and a protege of Apostle Joseph Ayo Babalola, Martha Salabi wrote to me, the mother of Joseph Ayo Babalola conceived in the year 1903. Just before her conception, as she was going to the farm, an angel of God appeared to her in the form of an elderly man in a white robe. The angel told her to be humble and submissive to her husband and that she would be blessed with a male child whom the Lord God of heaven would use to bless many all over the world. 2. Heaven and earth shook at his birth. According to Pastor Medayeshe, there was a wonderful occurrence on the day Ayo Babalola was born. A thunderous voice sounded in the sky from the east to 
the west. The stars in the sky shook violently as if to cause all the leaves of a tree to fall off. The thunder paralyzed the sound of the idols in his village. The testimony of Pastor Medayeshi is dependable because he worked with Apostle Joseph Ayo Babalola for 30 solid years from the beginning of his ministry to the very end. 3. A lake was miraculously sighted at the place of his birth at Ibonyu Pleasant Forest in Odo Owa, Kwara State, Nigeria. The water was used to bait him and it has since then become a miracle walking water. Thousands of people trooped to the birthplace of Ayo Babalola to fetch this miracle water from time to time. 4. There was a supernatural provision of fishes and bush meat for his naming ceremony. It is a tradition in Yoruba land in the western region of Nigeria to celebrate the naming ceremony of the first son in an elaborate way. Friends and families usually gather together in large numbers for the celebration. During Ayo Babalola's naming ceremony, God supernaturally provided fishes and bushmeat for the hunters that went to fetch them. The animals naturally came out for slaughtering. The hunters testified that they needed no strategy to kill the animals as they willingly came out and submitted themselves into their hands. 5. As a baby, his mother revealed that Ayo Babalola usually cried tirelessly with a sharp voice. God gave Apostle Joseph Ayo Babalola a naturally amplified voice that can be heard one kilometer away. He did most of his revival without the use of microphones and sound speakers. He ministered to more than 40,000 worshippers on a daily basis with his natural voice during the great Okeowee revival in Elisha in 1930. I do not know any other man on earth who has a similar gift.